Hey guys, it's Ellen. Welcome to my channel. So today's Monday, and usually on Mondays we do mini Monday madness, a little mini paintings. Um, but right now I'm kind of feeling burnt out. I don't want to do them. I want to try something different. And everyone should do that. When you're feeling burnt out of something, don't keep, don't continue, because you're not going to be happy. You're not going to feel good about it. And so right now I'm going to branch into something different. And I don't know what that is. I've been struggling for days now trying to figure out what it's going to be. So I think we're just going to have a video of me trying to figure that out. <laughs> me just painting. What would I do when I'm stumped? And I'm going to show you what I do. One of the things I would do, I actually talk about in another video, um, and I'll kind of link it here also, that is like my biggest tool to, you know, for any creative. And um, it's to come up with a thumbnail or an idea and what to do with that and how that really helps you in your creative process. So we're going to do some thumbnails and then we're going to go into painting and we're just going to figure it all out. <laughs> so come on in and watch what I do. So sometimes I just take um, my sketchbook, as it's a, just as a cheap sketchbook that I have, I have things on my fingers, and just grab my um, Sharpie pen. I have two, two different kinds I like to use. This one is the ultra fine point, which I use for the um, ink and wash. And then this is the non-bleed. The non-bleed one is really good because then if you have a nice sketchbook and you don't want it to bleed um, on the other side of the paper, that works great so you won't bleed through. This guy, however, usually does. But this guy, this pen, so you can kind of see it through. <clears throat> this paper is really thick, so it's not a problem. Um, this is the better pen to use for the ink and wash because this one, when you put watercolor next to it, will bleed. So you don't want that. So I can either start by just drawing something, or I usually start with picking those little squares, you know, a bunch of ideas. I had so many different things I wanted to paint today. And I just was like, eh. I had like, maybe I was gonna do um, a door, like I saw in London, like these doorways. I'm just imagining in my head what they look like. You know, sketch out the doorway with the steps. And then this, the railing coming down. These are all from my my brain, you know. And this got because it's a sketch. You can be really loose and goofy, kind of with it. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm like, wait a minute. I should have had a plant here, right? And do the little topiary. And you go like this, you know. Maybe there was a window over here, the shutter. Maybe there wasn't. <laughs> These are the thought processes I have. And then it could be just some kind of building with siding or not. And yes, this is from my brain. I was just looking at some pictures from London and I don't have a reference in front of me and I'm just imagining what it would look like. So it is kind of a juvenile looking right now but we can build on that. Then I was like, eh, I don't want to do that. Maybe I would do like, a, um, you know, there was another picture I had from Carmel was kind of buildings with the doorways, with the shadows, shadows would have been nice, you know, and then there was like the, because it's Carmel, you've got the California, you've got the aloe plants and um, big old kind of like palm tree kind of living cactuses. And they had the Spanish style kind of windows, funky Spanish style door. <laughs> and then there's some like climbing vines, bougainvillea, all that kind of stuff they can grow out there. But they can't grow here. That was another one I was thinking of. So there's a couple of different doorways. And then I'm like, oh, my brain was all over the place. Let's do some coastal. And I'm like thinking about the ocean and California with the rocks, <laughs> right? These are all from the photographs I just looked at. I'm not kidding. So this is like, um, what do you call it? Um, famous golf course. This is from the, my brain, the drive we did in Pebble Beach, yes. Looks like that. Yep. This is how my brain works, guys. <laughs> There's that famous tree. It looks like a Joshua tree in Pebble Beach. Like, it goes like this. I have a photograph of it. 
and then you see the ocean behind it. So if you've been there to that to that golf course, you know this tree, pretty famous on that drive. So then I was getting into the coastal, and then I'm like maybe coastal bird, and I was thinking of seagull. It's a pretty bad bird right there, but you know, you get the point. So the seagull's hanging out, <laughs> and then you think of seashells. This is what you should do. These are the things you should be doing: doodling, being goofy, coming up with ideas. Who's to say you have to keep in the square, right? Do are the squares a little scallop shell, starfish? You know, there's all these things you can think about. Clamshell. Then I was thinking about um, coral. This is where my mind went. <laughs> all these different. Then I'm thinking, oh, if it's in the ocean, maybe I'll do an ocean painting with some poppies or some florals. You know, you could put some green here. And then my brain went to like a total different place, like back to London again to like tea. So you get the teacups, the saucer, you know, the little scone, the spoon, the teapot. It's just from memory, it's not the greatest picture, but you can imagine that. I was thinking about my beautiful tea that I had with my son when I was in London. So we got the London here. California's kind of all here in this triangle. <laughs> So you can have some these palms they have in California. So this is kind of where my thought process will go, right? And then I can really think about, well, I've kind of done this many times, I've done this many times. Maybe not I've done this. And really I would need my reference photo to look at that, right? I think there's a window here. And then I just like to do doodles of like flowers. It's kind of where my brain goes. You can just do flowers, fruit, birds, bees, you know, all this fun stuff. This is what you do. You do like this thought process and you kind of hone it down. That's why thumbnails are kind of fun. And then you don't even have to draw thumbnails. You can paint them. So let's do that. <laughs> so I originally wanted to do some loose landscapes. Now I would, you can either, I've got this uh, block here. This is the Fabiana block I used for a couple of tutorials recently. I'm just gonna hold them on side a little bit. And I can just, I could sketch out with my number two H pencil, just some like, Maybe some little squares. We'll see. So it is kind of minis, but just a different kind of process today. And then I would do like the colors. You can put the colors there. So what do I mean by that? So I'm going to grab like my Princeton 8 and my Princeton 10, Princeton 8 Long Round Velvet Touch, my Princeton 10 Neptune Series, and I have all my paint colors here. Let's just play around with the sky. So I'll grab some ultramarine blue. Water this down. I've already activated the paints by spraying in water uh, this water bottle here. And I, paint, I have a paper towel close by. And we're just going to do some loose kind of... Here we go. Let's just play sky. This is what you need to do, guys. Play with your paints. So I'm just throwing in a loose sky here. If I want to have clouds, we do the little technique where we remove the paint. Take your paintbrush, like mop it up, and go back in and add some deeper color paint. I don't know why I'm speaking so softly. <laughs> it's Monday. I'm just kind of like tired. So there's a little sky, just simple. It's just a study, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then the ocean can be more of a turquoise. I uh, think about the land too, so I'll have my yellow mixed with my peacock to get some green. Mix up some more here. So, although I'll have the, and then I'll grab some burnt umber. So remember that the California coastline has like a lot of browns, 
course it was pretty dry because the weather's crap it's just drying out everywhere and then grays for the for the stone so I have this color called neutral tint and I've got this all kind of watered out now so now I'm just gonna think about some greens and they're kind of muted I had the brown on my brush put some of that brown here grab some neutral tint I'm just creating my own little coastal painting here grab some of that turquoise just playing around so it's kind of bleeding it doesn't matter if this is perfect it's just a study and play around with adding in some light green here right if you want to get a little bit darker with a, this just kind of tip tap more concentrated color of the neutral tint and play around with that even the burnt umber playing around with that and the greens adding a little yellow so while we have these colors already we can do like more thumbnails with playing with another scenario right so maybe it's more like a of course my coastal is kind of running into my sky stop 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 peep towel says no um playing with like you no know, other coastal studies so maybe more of like a marsh over here playing around this is where my brain will go and little mini paintings like this little studies kind of fun to do so we can do like more of a this is a low country kind of painting right holding it here you can add some deeper greens grab the peacock blue even grab like some Prussian blue I'm just playing with color here at this point how about some pretty colorful pink skies right so uh, I have this color called bright rose kind of water this down and we can use some yellow who's to say it has to be blue this is my brain guys this is what I do <laughs> it's fun to play now I'm playing on kind of fairly expensive paper you might want to play around with um, a little bit cheaper paper and I just had this handy so I just grabbed it I'm gonna grab some yellow I'm imagining like a sun sunset maybe a little red I'm playing with color here a little red so it turns into a little orange see this is having red deep I mean light I'm just kind of tip tapping it in here and then I can put the the green there can be water in here green here again just changing it up a little bit or that could be the beach it could be more of a brown and then I'll go back and I'll add some turquoise or some ultramarine blue mixed together so we have another low country kind of look I'm fix this in a little bit and then we'll do um, the beach one we'll kind of do like the low country California so let's start with the beach I'm using my burnt umber I always think of California like these big cliffs so it's the sandy beach right and then you go into the ocean They have these big cliffs everywhere because it's not flat like here in New England. Huge cliffs. So I got this turquoise color kind of blending in here. I can add some white for the waves crashing in a bit. And get a little bit darker with the turquoise and maybe a little of the um, ultramarine blue. Kind of in the back. I'm just tip tapping. It's still very wet. And then we can add the cliffs 
uh, close to the California <laughs> in the back. So kind of back here, get a little burnt ember. Kind of make it look here. The Cliffs of California, that's what I'll call them. I'll add a little green touches to that. And some down here. And then we're gonna come back in here and play with this one. I'll do the sky in a minute. So I didn't do the sky first. I did the sky and this one either. I just realized that. All right, so let's go back. And some of these kind of bled and that's okay. Um, I was talking about how I did the skies here first. Oops, it's got water in it. <laughs> and then I didn't do them here first. And I didn't even know that was subconsciously happening. So I'm gonna go and grab my ultramarine blue, water it down, and put my little low country sky in. I could have made it pink actually. That would have been a nice combo. Maybe I should have done that. Maybe I'll add a little pink. I'll take out some of the blue. To kind of do the diagonal coordination here. This is what you guys gotta do. You gotta play, 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 play. Add a little pink to the sky. And why not? Here's a little mini studies. Add a little red, a little yellow. Sunset. That's a lot of yellow. Get back and add some pink. Oh, orange. Okay, guess it's gonna be sunset. And as you see, I just add a little bit of that bright color. Take that pink. Go back in here. Boom. And I'm going to go back and add some more of that ultramarine blue on top. A little bit more color, more pigment. Get a little more concentrated. It's bleeding, you know, somewhat kind of funky. But it's a study, who cares, right? So now we're going to do the ocean here. So I've got the peacock. It makes a little bit of yellow. You can make this turquoise. You can make it more blue. I can add some ultramarine blue. Add some of this. I just kind of fill that in. I have so many little tutorials on doing these simple little marshes. Just go through. Now that we got our water back here, kind of go add some blues again. I haven't used the number eight long round yet. I'll be playing around with that in a minute. So I did separation here. I can add greens for like land mass now if I wanted to. Go right over here. I could get a little bit deeper and darker too. Same thing with the, the California coastline. Now this I won't because it's the beach. Now I might switch to my long round, right? So I've got that brown. I'm going to add a little more of this burnt umber just to give it some shadows on the water. And then go in and add the blues. So I've got the peacock with the ultramarine blue. Getting a little more intense with the color, see? Just add a little more intensity that ultramarine blue. Going back in, getting some more concentrated blue. Gonna add some Prussian blue to that too. Do you get a nice deep dark blue way out that way? I do a couple little lines here and there, and I'll grab some more of this light turquoise peacock, and then kind of put some down here. I can add some white gouache for some nice white caps since I didn't leave any white. And then right down here. And then for the landmass, grab some concentrated burnt umber and neutral tint. And just kind of play around with adding some of those colors in that cliff. California cliff, I call it. All right? This kind of bled a little bit. No, bad, bad, bad. <laughs> and we're gonna just going to play around with this the greens, get a little darker, add some neutral tint, 
right? You can add some Prussian blue and get that dark, dark. Okay, a little tree. Just kind of make a little stick and a little stem and go like that and get some trees. This is just supposed to be playful. No seriousness here. We're just doing a little study. Boom. If you wanted to add some really kind of like green, wispy grasses, and some browns and greens, you could go ahead and do that. See, I'm just going to go. Get a little interesting. And then down here, again with the California. <laughs> Calling it the California coastline. Just going like that. Grab some browns and some greens. Throw in some greens. Just kind of doing it sideways. Neutral tint. Water down. Sideways. A little blue. What the heck? Why not? Just go like that. That reminds me of like, you know, where we were in Carmel. And I'll grab some more of this peacock blue, water it down. It was turquoise-ish kind of water, not like the Caribbean. So I'll fill that in. And go back in and add some Prussian and some ultramarine blue. So you get the various tones of blue. A little more of the turquoise down front though. And then for the green grass is the same thing. So. Go back in here, and this, this time, because that's dried, you can really go in here and add some nice deep color browns and greens. And then you can add little flowers in front. Now we're coming out of our little box, which is kind of fun, right? Got the press in blue. Boop, 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 boop. And over here, maybe make some little shadows. Okay. I'm not going to go too crazy because it's just thumbnails. And then same thing here. Like they'll get darker blue, bluish green kind of here where it hits the water on this edge. Maybe something out here too. Just to ground it. And then lighter green. You can add some more yellows up here. And some nice purples. So I'll mix my bright rose with my ultramarine blue. Get a nice purple. Don't be afraid to add color, guys. It's a nice pretty purple in here. Isn't that fun? I'm gonna purple in the sky, why not? And again, come back down here and do some grasses. This one, you can add some hints of like lilac or I have this lilac color here. Just kind of put that in and it becomes very impressionistic looking right when you add like those pretty purples and blues i have this um, verdier blue color basically all the colors i use in most of everything i do but play around with it and add in the verdier blue see then that little little landscape became like this really pretty impressionistic style kind of landscape you could add the it's got a little muddy little verdier blue in here I love that color. Just soften this up right here and here. And then for the, like I said, for the, the California coastline, get a little white gouache. I didn't do this guy yet. I'll do this guy in a second. Get a little white gouache and you just kind of like wiggle it. Kind of add it. See, right on the edge by the, by the where the sand is and then you can kind of add some darker browns next to that white and add a little white caps in here really simple kind of tutorial here and then the sky and you can make any sky you want i'm going to go back in and add that ultramarine blue water it down Doo -doo -doo. just a simple sky Ooh, i got that paint everywhere <laughs> it's kind of purplish but that's okay that's more blue you can keep it in the box. See, I show more of a box. And these are our little studies, guys. So like I said, for the beach here, I would go back in and make that brown just a little bit darker, right where it kind of hits the white. 
so it stands out. Or you do this first and then add the white. And a little shadow here. And that's my little study. <laughs> Didn't take much. I'll have to go back in here and I'm gonna add, I'm standing up to see how it comes out. So maybe some darker tones. So there's like shadows going on on the California cliff here. Right? It was looking too monotoned. And what I mean by that, it's just kind of like blah, 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 blah. It had no depth to it. You had to kind of do something. It was calling for it. I'll just go back in here. And then this one too, I can go and add some pretty verdier blue. Just to brighten this up. Just making those little marks. Just throwing some blue in it. Do, 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 do. And you can take this red, cadmium red light, straight from the tube and put in some really cute little red flowers. Boop, boop, boom. I'm just tapping it down. Nothing special. So they get the California poppy kind of happening here on this one. And that's it. Those are my mini studies for the day. So this is what I would do. I would draw, I would think out of the box, I would play, I'm getting water all over my paper. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoy this. Listen, if you heard any of that, my, I'm trying to edit out. You know, having a home studio is difficult. So this kind of did a little cauliflower kind of nonsense. I'm gonna go back in and just kind of see if I can push this paint around, or I just go back over it with some paint, just fix it. It was like a big red pigment, pink pigment in the middle. I'm just gonna fix this. I need to add some purple into the sky. Let's change it up. And that's that. These are the fun things you can do. Now my sky got messed up over here, but we, like I said, we can fix these things. Just add a little pink, a touch of yellow. But who cares? I mean, they're just thumbnails. You're just playing. And this video, play and also did you notice that I painted it kind of fast fast is really kind of fun because then it forces you to just kind of like be creative a little more looser so there we go guys I actually ended up doing many paintings <laughs> but I actually kind of wanted to do some mini like studies it's kind of fun just to do something like that it's very simple and then as you go back you step back and it's like mm, maybe a little more detail like a little darker so it's like in the shadow these are the things you play with, a little lighter, you know, maybe a little darker with the brown, black here. You could add some trees, tweak it how you want it. But this is my day, this is how my process works and we'll be playing around with new things on Mondays. I will do some minis here and there like I did today. I mean, I didn't set out to do that, but I was talking about my process. I have some other ideas. I just couldn't get executed in time. So. Let me know your thoughts and leave a, leave a comment of like um, ideas you have. Maybe I'll pick your idea. You know, please don't give me a specific like paint this particular bird. Um, I'm looking for more generalization type of things because I can't paint the bird that you want to paint. <laughs> it's not going to happen. It's just a video that has makes more sense for you, but not for the masses. I'm thinking generalizations of like, um, are you looking for more landscapes, more coastal? How about some tutorials on values or shadows and things like that? I hope that makes sense. Anyway, thanks so much, guys, for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.